Hello there, it's Andrew Palmer from Elegant Marketplace and somebodyshero.co.uk. I recently rebuilt my uh, Somebody's Hero website with Pacific Grove from Gino Quiroz, who uh, sells via Elegant Marketplace. And I thought, you know, this, this theme is pretty easy to use. I mean, I've used Munda Difflin, which is great. I'm in the middle of something with Flourish. Uh, which is from Nathan Duval, and I've used uh, Melissa's themes as well, as well as everybody, every other developer on there. This isn't about the, the theme per se, but one of the things that Divi is most annoying uh, thing about Divi, in fact, the only annoying thing about Divi, frankly, is the slider, because we all want so many different things from a slider. We want hero images, we want thin sliders, we want sliders that are completely responsive, um, and we want them to act in a particular way. Now, along that way, there is some kind of compromise that we've got to have. Some of the text might not show up properly, or it might not show up at all. But what we're looking for is a user experience for mobile, which I think slider revolution gives. Definitely. There are, there's Meta Slider out there, there's Nevo Slider, there's all kinds of sliders out there. And I think that's my personal opinion, and it is just Andrew Palmer's opinion, is that Divi would rather, or Elegant Themes would rather concentrate on the functionality of the rest of the theme um, other than sliders. Because sliders, there are so many out there that you can just go and get some for free, you can buy a premium one. When you look at uh, Slider Revolution, it's $19. When you see what it can do, it's incredible value. There are so many different things that it can do, and I'm not gonna go into every single one of them because I don't sell for Slider Revolution. Although you can get it from the affiliate link that's on this blog post. Uh, we'll get some points in Invato. We don't actually get any cash, but it allows us to buy some stuff um, with our credits, and also uh, we test that and we do these little videos as well. So this isn't a tutorial video per se, it is a video to show you the power of um, Revolution Slider or Slider Revolution. So what I've done is I wanted to have a full width uh, hero image, uh, obviously somebody's hero, and I've put in an animation. Uh, and I've put in a basic background there as well. And I've got some text here and some text here. So when I play that, this happens, which is incredible. It's great fun, and it gives some um, uh, kudos to your website, shows your customers that you know what you're doing. It's not Flash, so it will work on every single browser. But when I've saved that um, particular slide to my website, and I go and visit the site, and I look for rules of engagement. I have rules of engagement on my website. I advise you to have them as well. It's basically telling people where I'm going. But look at that, what's happening there. We've got a Ken Burns effect on it, and the hero's coming towards me, or is it the background going away from me? I don't care, but it's great. Let's have another look at that. Let's just um, refresh that page, and just let's see and enjoy what Revolution Slider can do. This is so minor what, what it can do, but it's just basically giving you an idea of, uh, of how you can make your website look a little bit better with Revolution Slider. So let's go straight into um, this slider. Let's build another slide. So I'm going to just um, go onto the, hover over to this slide and go duplicate. And I've got exactly the same slide there now and I can go in and edit that, and I could actually change the background if I want to. So I'm going to, because I can. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a nice background. Let's have him flying in mountains. Let's change the color of the text there very easily. change the color of the text there as well just doing it very quickly mm -hmm. and let's change the transitions on these things so I just click on the uh, text and I say okay well I want that I want something else to um, happen there animation wise rather 
So I'm going to come in, or I'm just going to fade in, basically. I'm going to fade that text in. And I'm going to zoom this uh, text in from somewhere else. So there's loads of little things that you can do. And I'm going to do it shortly from the right. So there we are. If I want to see what that's going to look like, it's there. And my animation works. Now, what I've noticed is that my text has slightly moved a bit. So I'm just going to move that text down a bit, make sure that it's totally on top. Try and move my image up a bit, make sure it's totally on top of the E. And let's see where we go from that. Kind of looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Right, so we'll save that slide. So what happens now, I've got obviously a green tick here, and I need to make this slide the default. So that's done. And it says slide is now the active hero slide. And we can go back to our website, have a little look, and see what our hero looks like flying in from the mountains. And there it is. So it's a pretty cool effect. You can see that the mountains are going away from us, or is it the hero coming towards us? And these are the types of things that we like uh, on Revolution Slide. Now, if we click there as well, that's a link to the copy. So that's good. It's not quite as smooth as the transition uh, that we expect from um, Divi, but actually, it's fine. So we can always see um, some issues and some problems around there, but I'm sure that we can work our ways around getting that uh, to slide down a bit better. But actually, it's, it's not too bad. So that's it. That's how we do a hero slide on Revolution Slider. I recommend totally that you go out and buy it. It's well worth it. It saves all sorts of faffing around with the Divi Slider, which is great if you just want a basic slide. But if you want something more complex, and you want to have uh, a slide to be proud of or a slider to be proud of, it's a pretty sensible decision to buy Slider Revolution. $19, complete bargain, save you hours of work. So hopefully you've learned that Slider Revolution is the go-to slider, certainly from my perspective, uh, and it's something that we're interested in uh, exploring more. So put some comments below in the comments, obviously, and if you've got any tips and tricks, of course, we would love to hear them. Thanks for watching, and we'll speak to you soon.